In this video, we're going to dis discuss the process known as the electron transport chain, uh, and it's closely related phenomenon known as oxidative phosphorylation. And this is a uh, biochemical process in which fuels, uh, specifically uh, sugars and fats that we get in our diet, um, basically get burned or oxidized, and oxidized is a fancy term uh, which is basically where those fuels lose their electrons or get stripped of their electrons. Um, and then what happens is that those electrons get uh, basically tagged onto electron carrier molecules, uh, specifically molecules known as FADH and NADH. And these electron carriers, what they do is they take the energy of the electrons that are gained from the sugars and the fats that we burn, and they diffuse to the electron transport chain in the mitochondria. mitochondria. And what they do is they donate those electrons to different carrier molecules that are present in the electron transport chain. So at this point, we're discussing the electron transport chain specifically, and um, what happens is that once those electrons get donated is they bounce, uh, for lack of a better term, from carrier molecule to carrier molecule, so carrier to carrier, and each time they bounce they release energy. And this energy is uh, basically doesn't get wasted, because otherwise the, this would be um, a pointless uh, process. But what happens is all of that energy uh, is used to pump protons out of the mitochondrial matrix. Mitochondrial matrix. Now, as those protons get pumped, uh, as more and more of them get pumped out, uh, what happens is that a proton gradient forms. And this proton gradient uh, is obviously very energy rich, just like most gradients are. And at a certain point, what happens is that those protons that did get pumped out of the mitochondrial matrix are going to want to flow back down their gradient uh, back into the matrix of the mitochondria. And when they do flow down uh, their gradient, they release energy as well. And that energy is, um, is also specifically coupled to the formation of an energy-rich molecule known as ATP. And that's through uh, a specialized protein known as the ATP synthase molecule. Now, ATP is basically the entire reason the electron transport chain exists and the, and the whole idea of oxidative phosphorylation, basically meaning that we oxidize fuels here at the beginning and we use the energy via the electron transport chain to phosphorylate ATP, hence the P in ATP, which stands for phosphor, um, um, adenosine triphosphate. And adenosine triphosphate is a very energy-rich molecule that goes to uh, other parts other parts of the cell where it can be used uh, to form uh, various molecules such as DNA, uh, RNA, um, and uh, many other proteins that are necessary for uh, cellular life to continue. In the next part of the video we'll discuss and actually look at a schematic of the mitochondrial membrane and actually show you how these electrons are bouncing uh, and converting um, uh, energy uh, into a proton gradient.